Hi YouTube. This is just a quick uh, PSA for the women, young women, and even childbearing, women who are on the age of childbearing. This is in regard to this who the Roe v. Wade abortion law being stricken down. And uh, it, it, it really upset me when I thought about it. And then after I, I said, there's nothing we can do about it. But we can protect ourselves. That's the main thing. And uh, there's so much, so much going on. It's so hot. I'm in Texas, and it's just unbearably hot. I don't even go outside. It's just... So we have to endure the heat and all this. But surely, you women can get through this. I know we can because we are made of some tough stuff. We are tougher than the men. But the announcement is for young women. And, well, it's for all the women too, but the, the girls that's in high school and stuff like that, that was a story maybe four or five years ago. High school girl, she was beautiful. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful. And she was dating this young athlete in the high school, and he was getting uh, scholarships for football. He was the, the the whole city knew him. He knew his parents knew he was going somewhere, and there were a lot of girls who liked him, and he was seeing another girl. So what she did, she told him that she was pregnant. And he didn't like that idea. Oh, it just it just crushed him. And even though he was going to dump her, but now she's pregnant. So he and his best friend devised a plan to lure her to the, uh, we're going to skip school today and we're going to take her down to the creek and we're going to strangle her and get, and get rid of her. And I think the only thing that was left, uh, her, one of her socks or something, that's how they knew she was down there. But these guys did that, and after they found her body, come to find out she wasn't pregnant at all. So don't play games, young women. Don't play games. Don't play with these men, period. Do not play with them when it comes to telling them that you bring in a child into the world that they did not want. Don't do it. That's a death sentence right there. So it's not worth it. Don't. Don't do it, please. I beg you not to do this because I know the law is it, not fair. To me, it's not. It's not fair because it's your body and it's your business. But they, I don't know, it's you're killing an unborn child. And how can you kill something that's not even born? That's what I don't understand. But that they don't understand the human nature, not the human nature, but the nature of a female, because female animals, if they don't want that offspring, they will eat it and kill it. They, they don't want it, and that happens in all species of mammals. So, I don't know. They, it's just rough, I tell you. But I'm thankful that if a child or a young woman, anybody's raped, she still can get an abortion. She just have to travel to another state. And I'm praying and, and hoping that these other states will uphold their uh, abortion. Everybody, the whole country just can't fall for this crap. Now, Texas, I'm in Texas now, and it's so hot. And people are so, I don't know what to say about Texas. We don't even have uh, casinos here because we, we are so holy, Texas. This big old state. We it wasn't been, what, maybe... 40 years ago, we got the lottery. So, Texas is supposed to be, uh, what they call it, the Bible bill, part of the Bible bill and all that kind of crap. But women, be careful. That's all I want to say, please. I don't want to see nobody hurting you because you got pregnant. And don't don't bother with these married men. And, and if you happen to get pregnant, please don't tell them. Just go leave town and have your baby. Send them a picture and send them a picture, say, yeah, this is your baby. And I did a DNA test, blah, 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 and this baby is yours. Before you tell him that, you make sure you got some of his DNA hiding somewhere. 
even if you have to save some of his semen, if you if you pregnant by this man, you save some of his semen. You know you can. <laughs> yeah, that's your that's your protection. You save some of his semen, and then you and that baby, y'all leave town because it's not worth your life. But after you have your baby and you safe and the baby's secure, then you put the law on him. And if something happened to you all, well, y'all, he did it. If something happened to me and my baby, yeah. these men, I mean, if they don't want your baby, the baby, because it was, oh, I don't mean to talk too long, but it was a man. He had a baby. I can't remember if he was married to this woman, but they had a small child. And he worked in a hospital. And this baby, the child, he might have been five or six or something like that, but he was in the hospital. He was sick. Do you know the, the boy's father went and injected this baby with AIDS so he would die, so he wouldn't have to pay child support? And the baby did end up getting AIDS, and he did die, but they, they traced it back to this man. This man. So just because you have a, man ba a man's baby don't mean he loved that baby, are you? Because child support and money will make a man turn into a different being. But anyway, that's just 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 do that for me, please, please. And the rest of you women, warn these young women about that too. Don't mess with a married man. And you know what I said, if you do get pregnant, save some of that semen, and he you he don't have to know you got it. Keep it on ice or wherever wherever you keep it. But you ain't have to put it on ice because uh, that kind of tissue lasts forever. And after the baby's born, you go have that DNA tested on your own. Save your life and your child's life. Since since we, you know, we supposed to be the murderers and stuff, killing our babies. So if you're going to keep your baby alive, make sure you keep him alive. <laughs> I'm off of here, guys, but be careful now. Bye-bye.